Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dysfunctional family. God loves you with an everlasting love, and whatever your present, your future has unlimited possibility. You are not beyond the reach of God's grace. I don't care what you are. I don't care what you're doing. That which is broken can be mended. Dreams that have been crushed can be reborn. Out of the ashes of total defeat can come a breathtaking new beginning that only God himself can craft because God is the mighty counselor. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. God is still on his throne and nothing shall be impossible to those that believe. Now you can be in the same boat. You can be in the same house. You can have the same address. But if you're getting signals and rhythms from two different places it's going to affect your ability to row together everybody wants everything now they won't wait the art of waiting you're not going to bond together the first six months you're not going to get the cleaving right even the first year it takes some time you're going to go through some main changes and you're going to go through some frustration because you're still leaving and cleaving and it's a process start developing a new culture and a new philosophy that your kids one day will have to grow up and leave and cleave the art of forgiving you will never sustain a lifelong love without forgiveness You're going you're gonna to face conflicts when two people get together, think differently, act differently, want something different, operate in different gifts and different mindsets and all of that. God's interested in your character, not your happiness. Happiness, happiness deals with external things. People get happy from external things. Happy is about building character on the inside. And what he's after is you having kids, children, who you can raise up to promote his kingdom. And here's why. He seeks godly offspring. We make these decisions and choices without consideration of the impact that this has on our children. But it is important to God. Maybe it's not important to you. And your, your happiness is so important that you don't care that it wreaks havoc and destroys your children's ability to learn how to get along with other people. Because they, they never saw their parents get along. They never saw their parents sacrifice. They never saw their parents doing the right thing. So they never learned how to do the right thing. They never learned how to sacrifice. They never learned how to develop, develop character. They heard your conversations on the phone. They, they heard the conversations that you had about their mama and daddy. Because we have ran off and gotten married, didn't care what he thought about disregarded the warnings he gave us in scripture about it. did what we wanted to do. We've hurt his heart and we've hurt his heart because once we got married and it didn't work out the way we wanted it to work out, we just got rid of him and went on to the next relationship. But it's a tough pill to swallow to think about the impact on your kids. And above all, think about the heart of God. However God talks to you, communicates to you, however God speaks to you, however he lets you know he's around, he loves you, he's got direction. However God talks to you, get a word from God. You are entering into a covenant relationship. It is an institution. Don't take it lightly. I hope you know that we live in a world that we're facing a crisis in the family. And there's every effort in the world to try to destroy the family. He has made provisions by his death on the cross for our sins to be washed away. When you put your faith in Jesus and come to him, he, he cleanses you of all your sins. Isn't that good news? He cleanses us of, of every sin. By the power of God's amazing grace, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dysfunctional family. God loves you with an everlasting love, and whatever your present, your future has unlimited possibility. You are not beyond the reach of God's grace.